uh, what we're going to look at today, um, first of all, some terminology, and please forgive me for my use of pronouns if they slip uh, through the course of the uh, talk, uh, an overview of the nuts and bolts of what partnerships and LLPs are and are not, a look at the differences between what I'm going to call a traditional partnership, and I'll explain in a moment what I mean by that, and a limited liability partnership, which on the slides will appear as an LLP. We're also going to then look at the interests and relationships within both partnerships and LLPs. We're going to then look at why and when and if you can be both a member and an employee and indeed a partner and an employee, and if not, why not? And then we're going to give you a very basic, or I'm going to give you a very basic um, overview of uh, exits um, from partnerships and LLPs, so expulsion and compulsory retirement. There's a separate talk on that in much more detail. Uh, what about uh, an LLP? As I said, you will come across members. We've talked about that in detail. Uh, you'll also come across creatures called designated members. They are members, but they have additional statutory responsibilities like filing accounts, preparing accounts, and so forth. Uh, and for a reason that I'm about to explore in a bit more detail with you, um, perhaps slightly less obviously, members cannot also be employees of the same LLP. And I'll unpack that statement in a moment. Um, so um, now for a series of tips, um, and I'm going to rattle through my top 10 tips uh, for uh, partnerships and LLP litigation. Uh, tip one, um, who should do the suing and who do you sue? In a traditional partnership dispute, uh, you, of course, have just a collection of individuals trading together with a view to profit. The claim is bought by or against those individuals who were the partners at the time the cause of action accrued. That's important. In other words, if there's an act of negligence in a professional services firm, and then the question is when the negligent the cause of action accrued for the negligence, who were the partners at the time? So it might be that that negligent act happened three years ago, 